Welcome back. It's now time for another story from our Access Across Arizona initiative, our Cronkite News Project to uncover new stories from all corners of our state. As Arizona's senior population continues to age, safety of the elderly has become a growing concern, especially in rural communities. Cronkite News reporter Annalise Ortiz traveled to Cochise County to talk about measures the Sheriff's Office is taking to, talking to keep the elderly and other citizens safe. Yes, I'm here in Sierra Vista, Arizona. Now, even in larger rural areas like Sierra Vista or Bisbee, the Cochise County seat, some homes can be miles apart, and that becomes an issue for the elderly or disabled who don't have a neighbor nearby to just knock on the door and ask if they're okay. Now, that's one of the reasons why the Cochise County Sheriff's Office decided to jumpstart a program that helps take the worry out of being alone. Every morning, Sheila Gore receives the call. Please enjoy your day and be safe. When the phone rings at 9 o'clock, I know it's time. Time to get up. It's part of a program called Are You OK? A free service that gives the disabled, elderly, or mentally incapacitated of Cochise County peace of mind by having an automated service check on them regularly. All my family is out of this area. They're all up around Phoenix. So if I do need help, I have it. Now this is the computer from which the Are You OK messages are sent out. And if nobody answers that message, members of the Cochise County Sheriff's Office are on hand to pick up the phone and give them or their emergency contacts a call. And if no one answers, a sheriff's deputy is sent to her door. We are acting as their lifeline. The Sheriff's Office says this program is crucial for some cities in Cochise. We're talking rural. Uh, we have neighbors who can be a mile from each other, two miles from each other, four miles from each other. And these people sometimes don't have anyone to help take care of them. And many of those citizens, like Sheila, are seniors. The elderly population of Cochise County is nearly 4% higher than the statewide average, according to the U.S. Census. This helps us help them. And by using willing neighbors and relatives as volunteers, that in turn reduces the workload for 84 sworn officers who are responsible for protecting a county that spans more than 6,000 miles. It does take us about an hour to get from one point to the other. All right, and your fruit's just right But the distance the between cities doesn't stop law enforcement from maintaining personal relationships with citizens. The sheriff's office says in the four years the program has been in effect, it's helped build a stronger sense That's of community. Right. Yeah. You look yeah. really good. Oh, thank you. And there's, there's things that maybe we have as a, a more uh, rural county than you have in a metropolitan area such as Phoenix. Um, there's been situations where one woman in particular, you know, calls just to say, you know, how are you? Thank you so much for having us on the pro or having me on the program. A relationship She's Sheila is grateful oh. for. The phone call is so important. Every day. The sheriff's department's closest, why as well say, relative that I have. Now, I'm here with Sheriff Daniels, who oversees this program as Sheriff of Cochise County. Now, what can you tell us about the sense of trust that's kind of built between law enforcement and citizens thanks to this program? Well, I'm proud to say that Cochise County Sheriff's Office has always held high standards when it comes to the transparency and the blend and interaction that we have between our citizens and our law enforcement communities to include the Sheriff's Office here. We, we have invested the time, which equals the trust, and so we're very proud of that. That's great. And now what is the next step for a program like Are You OK? The next step is to get the program out there where people are aware of it. It's a program that's designed to help those in need and uh, hope you prevent somebody from uh, perishing. So this program where people check on them, we check on them, it's, it's just a great thing to, for those that just need that extra help. And would you say um, just between community members that it kind of builds up, you know, something stronger? The best marketing of anything is through uh, people and people is what we use and we use our social media also through our community outreach unit and let the people know that we have this program and uh, and we're there to support them. It's great. Well, it really is a special program you have here. We want to say thank you so much for joining us. Live in Cochise County, I'm Annalise Ortiz, Cronkite News.